It's been a week since we got our first teaser for Prehistoric Planet 2, and in the previous video, we talked about what kinds of dinosaurs we can expect in the upcoming season. If you haven't watched that video, I recommend you check it out now, as it may provide context to some of the theories we have in this video. Shameless plug in aside, we just got a huge information dump on a few more returning creatures, and, perhaps the biggest news of all, all the five episodes coming in this season. Hello my co highs hope you're all doing well. I am your host Tyranno Senpai, and welcome to another Prehistoric Planet video. And today, we're going to be breaking down the latest bit of news regarding the next season. Now this doesn't come from Apple TV Plus or Darren Nash, but it does come from a website called Young Minds Inspired, which to my knowledge is a website that provides kids with activities and coloring pages. I'll obviously leave a link in the description so you guys can see it for yourselves. But within the files, you can download there is an actual episode guide that reveals all five episodes coming in the next season. Also, for some reason, it says that some of the musical scores will have fossils incorporated in the soundtrack. Okay, I'm not sure how that works, but I'll bite. Anyway, the first episode is Dub Island. It features the pair of Patsycopterix we saw in the opening of the teaser trailer. And the description reads out, On a small island, a monumental display takes place as the giant Hatsikopterix reveals his gentler side to woo a mate. Obviously, we have surmised this from the trailer, but it does make me wonder what other creatures we'll see along these islands. It makes me wonder if we'll see any dwarf variants of dinosaurs like we've seen in past documentaries like Dinosaur Planet or Planet Dinosaur. Yes, I know it's confusing, but please bear with me. I doubt a majority of these episodes will take place on Hatsik Island, so where else will the episode likely take place. Now, I am no paleontologist, and I'm not going to pretend that I am one, but I do think we may also be taking a returning trip to Madagascar. The evidence? The final shot in the teaser trailer, of course. In that shot specifically, we see a Beelzebufo and what appears to be a Rapetosaurus. Both of these animals have only ever been found in Madagascar. The following episode, titled Badlands, breathes out as trudging through a scorching desert, two young Tarchia find relief at an oasis and encounter an adult twice their size, ready to lay claim. So from the information we can gather here, we'll not only be seeing the return of Tarchia, who only made a tiny cameo in the first season, but it looks like we may also see a sort of territorial dispute between two youngsters and an adult. Now what's interesting about this is that there has been a recent discovery in Asia of a Tarchia that has been clubbed in the head so hard that it died from its injuries. I am very curious if one of the individuals we see in the episode will be killed in the exact fashion as a nod to the remains they found. I'm also wondering if this is the episode we'll see the Isosaurus herd moving alongside a volcano, or if we'll see the Velociraptor and its baby. Okay, full disclosure, as I'm writing the script, I'm actually having a lot of fun theorizing where some of these segments of the trailer take place. Anyway, episode three appears to be the episode I am most excited about. The description reads, in a drought-stricken basin where much has perished, an old Pachycephalosaurus bull defends his leadership against the young challenger. So the description alone confirms the theory that these are Pachycephalosaurus, not Demolic, and thank god. I was quite happy to hear that this dinosaur would make an appearance in the next season, as it is one of the dinosaurs I was hoping to see in the first season. So naturally, I'm excited to see that my favorite thick-headed boy is finally debuting in season 2. I'm assuming that this episode will showcase the dinosaur I theorized to be Almas, given the fact that it appears to be feeding on masses of brine flies. The next episode is what I think is the one a lot of people have been wanting since the first season, and that is Ocean. Yes, folks, we're getting out of the coast, and we are now heading straight for the prehistoric seas in the Cretaceous. Not only that, but the description confirms another animal will, will be returning in this season. Deep beneath the water surface is the world's largest predator, the Mosasaurus, lies in wait to ambush unsuspecting prey. Yes, my co highs the Mosasaurus will be making a return in the next season, and it looks like we'll be getting a scene of it hunting what appears to be a plesiosaur of some sort, which I'm going to assume is the one we see in the teaser trailer. From the look of the poster for the episode, the plesiosaur in the Mosasaurus' mouth is pretty tiny. Whether or not it's a small genera of plesiosaur or just a juvenile morph is still unknown. I'm also going out on a limb and assuming the Hesperornithes we see in the teaser will also be appearing in this episode. And for the final episode, we have North America. Not even a habitat, just the entire North American continent. Bit of an uninspired title, but 
we're not here to talk about titles. We want to talk about the contents of the episode, and it's pretty exciting stuff. Not many can intimidate North America's top Predator T-Rex. Size and bite are a deadly combo, except for a giant winged boat. This is obviously describing the scene in the teaser trailer where we see a Tyrannosaurus fending off what appears to be a pair of catapultless from an Alamosaurus corpse. From this episode description, I'm wondering if we'll see the T-Rex back down from the fight. If this were a Jurassic World movie, there is always a fight to the death. But since this is meant to be a documentary, we have to consider real-life animal behaviors. In the real world, animals only fight when they have no other choice. As the combatants in question would rather give up and live another day than risk a potentially fatal injury. But who knows, maybe Resort Planet 2 might surprise us. And assuming we're talking about the whole of North America, I'll assume that's where we'll see the Nanuksaurus hunting the Ornithomimus and the Troodontid leaving up to catch a bird. And yes, I am now aware that there are birds in Season 1. Thank you to those who commented on that previous video. Please stop now. There's nothing much else to go over the episode guide or really any of the other parts of the handout, but we do have confirmation of another dinosaur returning in the next season thanks to one of the activity pages, Triceratops. The image depiction shows three adult Triceratops, and I don't think this is a shot from the previous season. So, I have all the reason to believe this is from the second season, and those are the five episodes coming to Prehistoric Planet 2. It looks like this next season will have not only a plethora of new dinosaurs, but also a lot more action in them get to get to see. Let me know which of these five episodes you are most excited for in the comments down below, as well as the prehistoric animals you are most excited to see. But for now, it's time to end the video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything new. Link to my Discord and my Twitch in the description down below. Until next time, this is Trinus of my signing off. Alrighty then, take care now. Bye bye then.